Today we're going to learn how to build sport climbing top rope anchors. So we have some sport bolts on our rock. This is how we're going to build anchors off of those for top rope. All right, so here we are building some anchors. First thing we need to learn is something we call a serene anchor. Serene or earnest, I like to say serene. So what that's going to mean is it's a strong anchor. So we're using the right kind of, we're using materials and like carabiners and stuff that are meant for climbing and don't have any problems with them. You know, they're not uh, worn out or anything. No cracks or any damage to our carabiners. No excessive fraying on our slings and different soft gear we're using. Um, and then, so in this case, we're good there. Uh, then we want everything to be equalized. So in that sense, if I were to, on this anchor specifically, and I'll show how to actually build this later, but uh, with this, uh, as, you, as your climber were to move from side to side on a route, then very rarely do you just go straight up unless you're like on a crack or something. You're usually going to move side to side a little bit. Um, we want it to be equalized the whole time. So that means there is an equal amount of force and weight being put on each of these bolts, carabiners, and sides of this system. So the way we're doing that is through making this slide back and forth and keeping it tight. If uh, I had a system where my carabiners from my master point couldn't slide, such as just doing like this. There are systems like that, but you'll notice all my weight goes to one bolt or the other. So having that slide is making it equalized. Um, then our R, that's redundant. All right, so those redundancies are all here. We've got two bolts, two carabiners, so carabiner come off each one. We are two strands of our sling, and then we have two carabiners down here. So everything is backed up, all parts of the system. So if anything were to fail, there's something there to catch you. Um, it's very unlikely for these top rib systems to fail, especially with these bolts. Um, there's not a lot of force put on them as like with the climbing, but still we want to be as safe as possible. Um, so with redundancy, we have non-extending. So if in that off chance something were to break, we, have, we need to have a non-extending system. And so what that means is that if, say one of these bolts were to blow, so this will mimic one of these bolts giving out on us. My system is gonna slide a little bit, right? Because I have that, that system that's intended to, um, to equalize on its own. So it's gonna extend some if a bolt blows, but we don't want it to extend a lot. So say I had these knots way up here, it's going to extend a ton. Um, so we don't want that. So that little bit of extension is okay. But the more you extend, the more it's going to put more, a lot of force on your other bolt and everything that's left. And you really don't want that because obviously at that point you've lost your redundancy. So remember, serene is strong, equalized, redundant, and non-extending. If you remember those when you're building your anchors, you'll you're building some solid anchors that anybody can climb on without any problems. All right, so the first type of anchor we're gonna build is gonna be using our quick draws. Uh, in this case, I have replaced these quick draws. Normally they would have non-locking carabiners, but I put lockers on there since we have them. That's gonna make things a lot safer. Um, these are very simple to do. All we have to do here is clip them into our bolts, repel rings, any sort, any part of the uh, the anchor system up here, and then we're going to lock them off, make sure they're good and locked, and then we're going to run a rope through. Um, we want the part of the rope that's going to go to our climber to be against the wall, and then we want the part going to our belayer at this end. We want that coming away, that way the um, climber isn't getting tangled up or anything. Again, we want to lock these off. Pretty simple, but that's how we're going to do Next uh, type of anchor we're going to build, again, we're still doing sport anchors, but in this case, we're going to use a sling, and then we're going to use four locking carabiners. We're going to make what's called the sliding X. It's a really simple, um, one of the easier ones to make, 
And again, it's just one of those things of how good the materials I have are because this is, though this is good, there are more redundant, better options. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna clip two of our Lockheed carabiners up here. We're then gonna take our sling, clip it in, and then we're gonna clip into the other one. So we just have these two strands coming down. You'll notice the bar tag here, we have that up towards the top, that way it's not gonna get into the system down here. Um, next thing we wanna do is we want to go ahead and tie overhand knots in both sides of this. We wanna come down near the center to tie these. And I'll explain why we want them down there. And you can always slide them down and move them around as you see fit. But the lower they are down here, the less travel and extension our uh, carabiners are going to have. So we don't want things to extend if they were to fail. Um, so what we do is we have these two loops. We're just going to flip one. That makes that little X. So that's where we get that sliding X. We're going to have two lockers opposite and opposed. And now it can slide, it can equalize itself. So that's an important part of that serene anchor. You know, so it's equalized. And then again with these, these knots, if I had them way up here, if, some, if I were to blow out this side, this bolt, or something were to fail on this end, it's gonna slide a little bit down, you know, four inches or so. If I were to have this knot way up here and move it, This sort of blow, that's going to have that extension that we don't want. So remember, always we always want our serene anchors to be non-extending. So this is a pretty good one. Um, again, just have those knots down there. But there are better systems we can make with a cordelette. It just depends on what you have at the time. Uh, type of anchors we're going to build, they're going to be using this cordelette. A cordelette's just a long piece of cord, usually. Uh, like if you buy a standard one, it's going to be about 21 feet. You can always cut your own and make them smaller or larger for what your application is. Uh, but what they are is they're just going to be a, essentially a giant pressing loop with your two double fisherman's knots butted up against each other and having plenty of tail. So for the next type of anchor we're going to do, it's called the quad. We're going to flip it so we have those two loops. We again want our knot that's connecting both ends to be up and out of the way. We have this going on here. We've got our knot up out of the way. We have both sides clipped in, just like on that other anchor. Um, now we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to take out the side and tie an overhand. Um, we want to make sure we keep everything nice and equal and even all these strands be even otherwise we're not going to be taking the same amount of loop later on. So once we tie both of our overhands we can go ahead and slide them down a little bit. Just like on the sliding X, the lower they are, the less um, extension we're gonna have if something were to fail. But you also wanna give yourself enough extension to where it'll all slide. Um, so here, we can, we don't wanna clip into all of these because it's gonna defeat the purpose and we'll go past our knot. But we are gonna clip into two of these. Opposite the pose, like always, so the same two, and then that's going to stop us. And see, we can't even lower these knots because we're not going to be doing anything like that. Um, 
So the lower these are, the less we're going to be able to move side to side, but you really don't need much. See, that's all it's really going to take. You're not going to be going way out there, more than likely. So this is pretty solid. And then if something were to fail, it's only going to extend about an inch or two, or two or three inches or so. Um, and we go ahead and clip into two of these because if this were to fail, you want to have in between two strands. And sometimes you can do three. It really doesn't matter. But if something were to fail, it makes more sense to have between two and two than three and one. So we're pulling down on that. But again, make sure everything's locked off as always. Climber to the wall and the layer coming away from the wall. Lock it off. And that's the quad. Join us this week to see how to build some solid top rope sport anchors. Now you can put this stuff to practice. Join us next week and we'll show you how to clean these and how to get yourself uh, down from the top here. Y'all have a great week.